Good afternoon, Jimmy. How you doing? Doing good. How are you? Doing all right. Hey, well, I wanted to start off with a little bit of an announcement. Um, every season, the San Francisco chapter of the Pro Football Writers award the Gary Niver Award. Uh, Gary was a, a longtime sports writer, passed away in the 1990s. And it's an award that it goes to the Friars player who best exemplifies professionalism and cooperation in dealing with the media. This year we had co-winners. Yesterday we announced uh, Trent Williams and today you. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you for the award. Uh, you guys have been a fun group to work with, honestly. It's been uh, it's been a fun four years. So, um, you know, and part of the reason you win this or the reason you win it, just your professionalism, uh, how you handled yourself with class this season, uh, you know, the demeanor by which you carried yourself. It, it couldn't have been a, a really easy season for you uh, to maintain those characteristics. So how did you go about it? What was your focus? this year just to uh, handle yourself in that manner when there was so much stuff going on that started you know even before the season began yeah uh i mean it it was difficult at times there was times where uh you know you if you lose sight of you know what your uh what your main point of emphasis is what you're trying to do in uh in this building you get distracted i mean there's plenty of opportunities for that but you know, uh, when things happened in the off season, and uh, you know we made the trade and everything, I uh, picked Trey. Um, it kind of made things clear for me. Honestly, it gave me a clear, you know, course of what I wanted to do, what I wanted to accomplish this year, and uh, you know, it it honestly made things simpler in some ways because it took you know the weights off my shoulders. Now it's just go play football and enjoy this, uh, you know, this last year with the guys and you know create as many relationships as I could, and that's really what I tried to do this year and. Thought it worked out pretty well. Hey, Jimmy, uh, Kyle and and John were just in there saying that one of the big things uh, for you uh, for the next few weeks or or however long this takes is going to be communication, which I know you said you appreciated that they communicated with you back then. Uh, Was it communicated to you that you will be able to maybe have a say in in how this kind of all plays out? And, And if so, what are some things that you would maybe like to have in, in your next destination if indeed that's what happens yeah uh we, we've talked a little bit i think more will happen uh in the days to come but yeah the, these guys have been very upfront about the whole thing I was talking to john yesterday just about uh you know finding the right destination and uh whatever you know the future holds just doing it the right way and it's uh you know got a long career ahead of me so i'm trying to i'm excited about it i'm excited about the opportunities to come i just want to go to a place where uh you know, whether, where they want to win. I mean, that's really what I'm in this game for. I, I'm here to play football, I'm here to win football games. And as long as I got that and uh, good people around me, I think the rest will take care of itself. Hey, Jimmy. Uh, I was going to say it's been great, baby, but Kyle uh, and John have indicated, you know, that some scenario exists in which, you know, you would not be traded. Um, so just letting you know, we can stay on the same page there. Um, can you imagine a scenario in which you were playing for the 49ers in, in 2022? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll never close every door completely. I think uh, there's a possibility of anything. I think just we, we need to have those conversations here uh, in the next couple of days, next couple of weeks, and, you know, really get the ball rolling on that. I mean, it, football is such a – I mean, you get into such a routine just talking to some of the guys about it that – Every day is so consistently the same, and you know you get into a rhythm of that. That when it ends, it just it comes with such a halt, and it's uh it's hard to you know put all the scenarios into play right now. But I think those things will work themselves out. I've had a great time here with the with the Niners organization, with the faithful. Uh, everything here has been awesome. Been some ups and downs, obviously, but uh, yeah, I mean, I could. We'll see what happens, I guess. Jimmy, did you kind of brace yourself last spring to have this kind of uh, thank you goodbyes? I mean, and then did it surprise you just how the season went on, how you were able to get through everything? I uh, never really prepared myself for this, <laughs> honestly. I, I live in the moment. Uh, I'm a pretty simple guy like that. I try not to look too far forward, live in, don't want to live in the past or anything. But, uh, I mean, I knew this would happen eventually, but it's um, you can never be totally prepared for moments like these. 
it's just weird. Uh, you know, you put yourself through all these things. You put yourself out there as a player, uh, make all these great relationships, and then, uh, you know, things come to a halt. But that's just life. So you got to keep moving on, keep things rolling, and, you know, enjoy the moment. Kyle was talking about the, the middle of the season. You, you guys were three and five at the time. I think you had just uh, sat out a game with the, with the calf injury. And, and he was saying that he was reaching a point where he had to decide whether to go with, with Trey for the rest of the season or not. Um, and he indicated he was close to making that decision. The next game, of course, is, is the Rams game. And you guys uh, win three straight. And then, obviously, you know what happens next. But... I'm just wondering whether you realized uh, what the stakes were in that game and, and looking back at that week 10 game, how big that, that win or, or how difficult it was with your calf, et cetera, just uh, everything that was going into that, that, uh, that game. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think I, I had some type of idea. I think, you know, I, I never try to make things too big in my head. Just try to stay in the moment, uh, you know, take it for what it is. But, yeah, I mean, you, you're saying it about just the, the Week 10 game. It seemed like every game this year, especially once we got to about the 3-5 and five point, each game carried some, uh, you know, significant weight to it. But that's what uh, that's what makes for a good year. Makes for exciting football for the fans to watch. Uh, obviously, as players and coaches, we're living it, so it's always crazy for us. But it's just, um, that's the NFL season. I mean, it's never easy. Uh it's almost when it's more difficult like this, it makes the year more memorable, I guess. You remember those tough times and all the things you had to fight through. Uh, it makes for a fun year, man. So a lot of memories I, I'll remember for a long time. Hey, Jimmy, uh, zooming out on, on the entire four years, I still remember the, the first day we all met you. I think it was your birthday in, in 2017, and you said it was quite the birthday present, that surprise of a trade. Now that you've had a couple days to reflect uh, over the end of this season, uh, have you had a chance to reflect on all four years? And, and, and if you have, what's what's the one biggest difference between Jimmy Garoppolo now and when you first step, set foot in the Fort Anders facility in 2017 as a person? Whew, uh, I really haven't had time to fully, you know, the, four, the full four years. I've been thinking about this year and just what this team has been through. But, I mean, the full four years, it's, uh, it's crazy just how I feel like as a person I've grown, as a player I've grown – uh, I've created a lot of friendships along the way, um, but I don't know. It's it's really since I've gotten here, it's all been about you know I want to leave the place better than when I got here. Uh, it's always something that I've tried to live through, and whatever it is, uh, growing up, school, football, other sports, I always try to do that with every place I went. And you know, it's uh it's one of those things you look back on it and just how far this team, this organization has come in four years. It's, it's pretty wild, but uh, you know, I wouldn't change anything for the world. I think everything happens for a reason, and you know, gotta enjoy the moment while you have it. Jimmy, it sounded like you in the beginning of this were resigned to the fact that you would be somewhere else next year. As much as you've liked your time, is there something to be said for a fresh start and not having another year of Jimmy or Trey? Jimmy or Trey? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Uh, it'll definitely be different. Uh, you know, I don't know if it'll be easier or harder. Each year is difficult in this league. I mean, it always is, but that's uh, that's part of the reason I love it. It's uh, nothing's given to you. You got to earn everything in this league, and you know it's not easy. I think that's just uh, that's something that I embrace and I sort of enjoy in a way. Jimmy, going through Trey's arrival at <clears throat> the Panthers, and then also the roller coaster of the season. What did you learn about yourself through all of this? I. Uh, Learn how to be more resilient, I guess. I think that that was a big thing throughout this whole year. Just, you know, you got to be resilient through uh, all the noise that you hear and uh, all the things that are going on during OTAs, training camp, leading up to the season. And then really once we got to the season, it was just about playing ball. That's that kind of was the easy part, just uh, being out there with your brothers, uh, being on that field. And once you got between the white lines, all that noise kind of disappeared and it just became football at that point. So those were the moments where, you know, kind of uh, things slowed down for me. Got to enjoy those moments a little bit. And <clears throat> I think just uh, the resilience of this team really showed throughout this entire year. Hey, Jimmy, yesterday uh, Trey said that he thinks of you as someone who will be a best friend of his for life. And I'm just wondering, um, you know, if you feel the same way and what your relationship has been like with him 
um, and how you expect it to be kind of going forward as you both progress in your careers. It's been, uh, yeah, it's been fun with Trey. He's a, he's a good dude, you know, down to earth, normal dude. And uh, I, I really like that since the day he got here. Cause if Trey Wolf came in and acted a little different, <laughs> things could have, could have been tough there for a little while, but he was always a class act, always, you know, cool dude. And he's going to have, he's a bright future. I uh, wish him nothing but the best, you know, going forward. I'm excited for him. He's a talented young guy and, you know, future's bright for him. A couple of questions, Jimmy. Do you have a surgery scheduled yet on the on your thumb? And have the 49ers formally or informally given you and your representation permission to seek a trade? Uh, we, we're handling the thumb actually in the next couple of days. We're going to see a specialist, uh, see what he thinks of the whole situation, get a couple of opinions. If I could avoid surgery, that's really what I'm hoping for. But, uh, you know, we'll see this. This arm's been through a lot this last month, so <laughs> got to get this figured out first. And, uh, yeah, as far as just the whole trade situation, John's been very clear with it. Uh, you know, I think they're trying to do the best for me. I'm trying to do the best for them, and we're working together in that. Really haven't made too much progress on it, but I think things will start happening here pretty quickly. Jimmy, you just mentioned that Trey, uh, you think you think he has a bright future. Uh, from From a playing perspective, uh, what, what did you see from him as he kind of grew throughout the year? And, and what do you think he will do as, as the starter in, in 2022, if that's how it works out? Uh, you know, Trey, he's, he's growing a lot mentally. Uh, I think physically, I don't, I don't get to see all the you know reps he's doing on a scout team and things. But mentally, just in the classroom and things like that, he's grown a lot. Uh, I mean, it's, when you come in as a rookie, it's, it's difficult. I mean, just picking up, especially our offense, it's so different and wordy and things like that but he's done a good job of it uh i mean it's tougher to come in and learn as quickly as he did and it's been impressive i think uh you know next year looks bright for him dude's as talented as comes he's just gotta you know use those things the right way run slide learn how to get down when he needs to uh but no it, it i'm excited for him Jimmy, with Tom retiring, um, I'm curious. I know you never really mentioned this, I think, directly, but now that the, the season's over, I'm just curious if there was something that you learned from him about, you know, the competitive nature it, it requires to sort of fend off a, a, a replacement, I guess, and and maybe, uh, you know, if you were able to apply that and, and just reflect on uh, what he meant to you and uh, with your career. Uh yeah, I mean, for, well, first of all, congratulations to Tom. I mean, absolutely incredible career, best ever do it. Uh, just so happy for him, man, all that he's accomplished. But, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm grateful for everything I've learned from Tom. You know, I started back to my rookie year. There's been moments where uh, with me and Trey, it, it felt like me and Tom at times, and I would, like, think to myself, I'm like, damn, I used to be the, the young guy in this relationship here. And <laughs> it's just crazy how things come full circle like that. But, uh no, just so happy for Tom. Uh, I think he's going to really enjoy retirement. I, you know, he's always on to the next thing, and he always has things happening. But very grateful for what he taught me as a player, as a person. Really just helped me grow as a man. Uh, I really appreciate him for that and wish him nothing but the best. A couple more? Hey, Jimmy, you may have kind of a answered this, but just in those conversations that, that you've had since the season ended or, or just what you know of John and Kyle, do you have confidence you know, they'll prioritize where you want to go over the compensation they could receive in a trade? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I think you know everything has to be balanced. I guess you could say. But I think uh, you know we've we've done right by each other just uh, throughout this whole relationship. They've been very upfront. John's been awesome about it. Just the communication part of it. Uh, I I can't thank him enough for that. But I think we'll we'll work it out one way or another. I don't know how exactly. You know, that will work, but I think both sides will be happy in the end. Last two. Jimmy, one, one thing you've said a couple of times now is you've surrounded yourself with good people. And, you know, obviously what we see you after games with, with your parents and your brothers, I'm wondering what, what they're trying to tell you right now, what you're going through, what to expect, and if there was anything um, that they said to you over the past year that kind of helped push you through it. Um. They just, they've been so supportive throughout this whole thing. Honestly, I couldn't do it without them. My family, my friends. Uh, yeah, I, I truly believe that just when you're put into a tough situation, you got to uh, 
you got to find a way to cope with it, find a way to, you know, you got to talk it out. And having friends and family like that, that I could talk to really made things easier on me. Uh, they took so much off my plate, just away from uh, football, everything like that. They, they really helped me out a ton, and I can't thank them enough for that. But uh, no, nothing, nothing in particular. Class and pride was always something that I try to live by. I think uh, it'll take you a long way, and it'll do good things for you. You, ju you just mentioned that, that the thumb has been um, through a lot in, in recent weeks. I, is there anything you can tell us now that you might not have been willing to share with us, share with your opponent um, during the season, during the playoffs about um, any particular throws, any particular moments, Green Bay with the cold? Did anything about the thumb uh, kind of stick out uh, to you as a quarterback? Uh. I mean, just the the day to day struggle with it. Uh, I mean, it, it was real. Uh, I think everyone's dealing with stuff when you get to the playoff time, especially with the 17 game season. Uh, but no, it's just uh, I think you could tell through the throws. I mean, as the season pro progressed, the thumb and shoulder were you know they were hanging on, but there were a couple that obviously wish I could have had back just uh, with the circumstances. But no, it uh, it held up. <laughs> I'll say that it definitely held up, but uh, yeah. And be before we end, guys, I just wanted to uh, quick thank you to all you guys, the media. Uh, since I got here, you guys have been awesome. It's been some ups and downs between all of us, but uh, for the most part, you guys have been awesome. Just good group to deal with. You guys are very, uh, very engaging, and it's just fun to be around you guys. You're from Eric making the jokes to uh, every, everything in between. Just uh, it, it's been a fun ride, guys, and I really appreciate you for that. And uh, yeah, I'll miss you guys. So thank you guys again, faithful. Thank you very much for everything. Uh, it's been crazy, man. Just uh, all the comebacks at Levi's, comebacks on the road, ups and downs. It's it's been a hell of a ride, guys. I love you guys. So see ya. Hey, faithful. Subscribe to our YouTube channel.